Thank you. Thank you very much. An interesting thing, you know, in some of the techniques in gambling are so amazing that if you strip away the gambling and all the confusion that they try to add to it to turn it into a gambling device, it actually looks like trick photography, some of the techniques that they use. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, take the three card Monty, for example, uh, which just makes a uh, use of three cards. Now I want to boil it down to its barest minimum so we can trace this technique down and really see what happens. See, if I were to place uh, the, that card onto the bottom like this, and if I were to slow the technique down enough for you to be able to actually see what happens, it would start to seem like trick photography as it melts to the center but of course if you do it at natural speed it actually seems to be exactly where it needs to be I'm going to turn the cards face up so that you'll get a perfect view and this time it's down on the bottom just like this there'll be no question in your mind what the situation is and yet if I give it a little bit of a shake just like this you actually see that card melt up through to the middle position that's why they never do it face up of course now in the three card money world even if you would swear that that card was in the middle. I mean, even if you would bet your own money that that card was in the middle. That's the very time when you don't want to bet. Because sure as you bet, it's going to be the last place you expected every single time. And that's the illusion of the three-card money. <laughs>